Good morning and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to look at the 2020 question 2 of the probability distribution of the MCA Level 3 Statistics paper. Uh, if you have not watched video 1 on question 1, please do so and we'll be doing the question 3 in the future. So let's go. Question 2. So question 1 was more on the rectangular distribution as well as the Poisson distribution. So technically, question 2 will be either be the binomial or the normal. In fact, in both of them. So we shall look at question 2 now. We will read question 2. It has been estimated that breakfast is eaten daily by 49.9% of youth in New Zealand. Uh, so suppose a random sample of 8 New Zealand youth were taken Use an appropriate probability distribution model, calculate and estimate that the probability that less than half of these youth are eat breakfast daily. So first you need to uh, make a guess whether it is going to be a Poisson, binomial or normal. Normal normally they will tell you the uh, mean and standard deviation. So nothing is there so we shall ignore normal. Uh, Poisson uh, binomial is as a success and failure. In this case, they eat and they don't eat. So the success and failure and a fixed number of trial. There are eight New Zealand youth. So we shall use binomial. Okay. So we shall use binomial. So we know that number of trials is eight. There are eight youth. The mean or the average is 49.9. So it's going to be 0 0.499. And they ask you what is the probability less than half of the eight youth? So it could be 0, 1, 2, 3. 4 is half, so this is less than half, so it could be 0, 1, 2, 3. So once you know the question, we shall put it in a calculator. So first go to statistics, it goes to execute, then it goes to distribution, and then you're going to find binomial, B N N M. So binomial. Okay, binomial, you need to know whether it is accumulative or just a point. In this case, we are going to accumulate from 0 to 3. So your x have to be 3. So the B, C, D will calculate from 0 to wherever you stop. So 0 to 3. So we put x is 3. Number of trial going to be 8. And the probability of success is 0 0.499. Just put in a calculator. So it's going to be B, C, D. Put the variable. Number of trial is going to be 8. So now we're going to change to 8. So sorry, it's going to be 8. Uh, number of trials going to be 8. Uh, sorry, x is not 8. So x is going to be... Sorry, we do again. x is not 8. x is the uh, 3. So x is 3. Number of trials is going to be 8. The probability is 0 0.499. We've done it before. Okay. And then just press execute and the answer is 0 0.3655 and that will give you an achieve. Just putting a calculator and that will be an easy achieve. Okay. So we shall do the second one now. Okay. The second question of part A. Okay. So we shall continue. So a year 13 student say approximately 50% of youth ate breakfast daily. So five of the next 10 youth sample will eat breakfast daily. So comment whether he is correct in his reasoning. So now... You have 10 samples, so n is 10. The probability is still the same from previously, so probability is 0 0.499, and you want to calculate x equals to 5. So it's going to be BPD this time, okay? So we're going back to the menu, go to stats, goes to B, uh, by distribution, binomial, this time it's going to be BPD, okay? So we're going to put n is 10, okay? So x is what you're going to find, x is 5, so x is 5, Execute, number of trials is going to be 10 this time. Execute, the probability is 0 0.499. Execute, and you found out it to be 0 0.2461. So, so is his claim correct? Not really. He claimed that 50% of the youth eat breakfast daily, but he only got 24.61. So, his claim is incorrect. And if you can answer that, that is a merit. Not too bad, right? Okay, so now... We shall look at the next question, which is an excellent question. Okay, part three. So the question looks like this. Okay, uh, for New Zealand age children. So previously was youth, now children. Okay, the proportion of people who eat breakfast is estimated zero point eight five. So your success is zero point eight five. Your probability of success zero point eight five. A health worker observed that a group of ten youth. So your n is ten. The variation number of youth who ate breakfast 
was much greater than the variation of children. So you want to say that the youth ate more breakfast than the children to comment on the health worker observation and justify statistically. Okay, so to calculate variation, variation could be the spread, it could be range, standard deviation or variance. So we shall use the standard deviation formula. The standard deviation formula is square root of n times p times q. p is the success, q is the failure. So in this case, <coughs> for uh, the youth, okay, for the children, okay, so children, in this case, n is 10, okay, success is 0 0.85 given here, and the failure will be 1 minus the success is going to be 0 0.15. So using these numbers put in the calculator, the square root of 10 times 0 0.85 times 0 0.15, you get 1.13. Similarly, for the youth, the previous example, okay, n is 10, success is 0 0.499, and the failure will be 1 minus 0 0.499 is 0 0.501. Put in a calculator again, square root of n times p times q, so n is 10, p is 0 0.499, and q, the failure is 0 0.501, and calculate them, 1.58. So again, you calculate the youth has a higher probability, the standard deviation for the youth is higher than the standard deviation for the children, so we can say that your youth worker observation is justified, uh, as the standard deviation for youth is larger than the children. Okay, that will give you an excellent. Okay, so remember the standard deviation calculation is square root of n times p times q. Okay, so now we shall look at the part b. Part b is more a normal distribution. Okay, a normal distribution question. So now we shall read them now. Okay, so a normal distribution question. So suppose the intake of breakfast of New Zealand male youth with breakfast daily is modeled by a normal distribution with a mean of 11,200. So the mean in the middle here, 11,400 kilojoules, and the standard deviation sigma is 2230. Energy intake above 12,008, so more than 12,008, leads to overeating for the rest of the day. So estimate the area here. Very simple. You are going to use your probability. So go to 36 again, execute, this time distribution, and you're going to do normal. And remember, normal, there's no NPD, it's always NCD. Okay, so now we're going to put them. So the lower is going to be where the start of the area. That area is 12,008. So lower, you're going to put 12,800. Execute. And the upper could be any number. So I'm going to put 1 million. Okay, bigger than that. Okay. And then sigma 2230. And the mean is 11,200. Just execute. Execute again, and the answer is 0 0.1. Oh, I may have done wrongly. 12, lower is 12,008 million. Mean is 11,002. Oh, sig, and no, mean, I'm not kidding yet, okay? So your, your sigma, sigma is 2230, and your mean is 11,200. Execute, execute, and the answer is 0 0.2365, and that will give you an easy achieve. Okay, sorry, I forgot to key in the standard deviation. Okay, now, now we shall look at the second question of part B. Okay, it is known that half of New Zealand male youth who ate breakfast daily have an energy intake uh, between 9,005 to 12,000. So 9,005 to 12,000, and the mean is 11,002, and the sigma still remains at 22,230. Discuss the normal decision model presented up and above appears to be appropriate for modeling the energy intake at breakfast of New Zealand male youth who eat breakfast daily. Support your calculation. So, we need to calculate the probability here, okay? To calculate the probability, he said that half of New Zealand youth, okay? So, we want to check whether it is half. So, now back to menu, statistics, exit, and now we are going to put the lower. So, the lower is now 9,005. So, we're going to put 9,005. No, sorry, that's one too many, eh? 9,005, execute. The upper is going to be 12,000. Always remember to draw the graph when you do normal distribution. The mean is 11,002. So mean, no, sigma is 2,002 and the mean is 11,002. Then we're going to call the probability and the probability comes up to 0 0.4171. So is that more than half, approximately half? No. So the model is not valid since the observed probability, is, they say that it's half but it is much lower than the calculated value, which is 0 0.4171. So 
And if you can answer that, that is a merit. Okay? And of course, the last question had to be an inverse normal. Okay? We are going to calculate the standard deviation. Okay? So of that question. Okay? So data is collected from student enrolled in a single sex school. At this school, 15% of youth who ate breakfast have an energy intake above 12,008. So 15%, this area here, is more than 12,008. Suggest suitable value so you can use mean or standard deviation. In this case, we're going to use standard deviation that could be used to model energy intake of breakfast for youth who eat breakfast daily at a particular school. And remember, the standard deviation for normal is 2230. We have to calculate the, the other standard deviation from whether it is more or less than 2230. Okay, okay, good. So now uh, we are going to use the inverse normal. So the 12, 11,002, when you standardize, it becomes 0. 2230 standardized becomes 1. Okay? So now we are going to compare this standard division with that. So what we do, we're going to put in the inverse normal. So go to distribution, stat, exit, exit. And now we're going to put distribution, normal, inverse normal. Now we're going to do the stats to calculate this z value. What is 12,008 in this z value, okay? So once we get that, we're going to use this formula, x minus nu over sigma to calculate your nu sigma. Okay, so good, okay. So now we are doing on the right, so the uh, the tail is on the right, the area is 15%, 0 0.15, nu is two, no, in this case, you want to standardize the mean, so sigma is one, okay? And the standard deviation, the mean, Standard division is 1 and the mean is 0. Execute them and we calculate them is 0 0.136. So we got that number here, 0 0.136. Okay. So now to calculate what is the standard deviation, okay, we have to use this formula. Z equal to x minus nu over sigma. This sigma is the z is now 1.036. X is 12,008 and the mean is 11,002. And sigma is what you're going to find. So 1.036 equal to that number divided by sigma. To calculate your sigma or your standard deviation, you swap over this number and this number swap places. Because and then sigma equals to that divided by 1.036 and it comes up to 1544.4. Okay, so you can see the new sigma is 1544.4, which is smaller than the original standard deviation of 2230. So the proposed standard deviation is much smaller compared to the current model, which is 2230, because probability of a youth at this school eating over is less than that of all New Zealand youth. So hopefully you get it and keep practicing and hopefully you'll do well in this internal. Make sure you watch video one and video three and you should do well in this internal. Cheers, external, sorry. Cheers. Have a good day, everyone, and see you soon.